thousands of years, Hindus have been performing the last funeral rites according to specific religious guidelines, including burning the dead. Cremation is the traditional method of disposing of the deceased. But with 8.5 million Hindus dying each year, funeral pyres exact a huge environmental toll, felling over 50 million trees, emitting 8 million tons of carbon dioxide into the air, and adding to India's already critical air pollution problem. But here in Delhi, a team of environmentally conscious engineers has adapted this age-old tradition of cremation to today's needs to protect the environment. Nigambodh Crematorium is the oldest and most sacred of Delhi's 375 open-air cremation sites, or ghats. It's also the busiest, cremating about 70 bodies per day. It's sinking in now. Looking at all these burning bodies, I'm immediately reminded of uh, my own grandmother's passing last year. It brings up a lot of raw emotions that go with the passing of a loved one. Death is a difficult time for families, and not particularly a moment when the environment is of primary concern. But an organization called Moksda is trying to change all that. You must be Anshul. Yeah, hi. Hi, Gokul. Anshul Garg is an executive officer at the NGO. So one uh, cremation is uh, about to start. They have just done a mukhagni the initial uh, lighting up of the pyre. And how long does it keep burning? Uh, it, it takes about uh, minimum five to six hours. Five to six hours. I can see your eyes are watering. Yeah, because of the, uh, the pollution. And you can wow. see it's totally dark smoke. Yeah, really dark smoke. So this is the actual pollutant. I see there is a little bit more activity now. See, now uh, the chief mourner or the son he will do the most important uh, part of the cremation process. Mm -hmm. He will take this bamboo and he will hit the head of the dead person. That is called Kapal Kriya, mm -hmm. to give salvation to the deceased person. Everything is part of this time-honored tradition. The ghats in the open air, the mourners gathered around the body. Even the use of wood is significant, but it's also a major contributor to the environmental problem. All of this is the wood that they've gathered here, um, which gets chopped up into smaller pieces uh, as the day goes on and as they get orders uh, and as bodies start coming in. Um, they have this massive warehouse here, which is full of wood. What is this weight? It's 400 kg. 400 kg. A family just arrived with the deceased, and uh, I'm told uh, they purchased a cartload full of wood, which was 400 kg. 400 is here, and then this is the change. So, how much is it going to go to the house? Around 200 quintals, which is 20,000 kilos of wood goes through this area. I just cannot begin to imagine the magnitude of the problem facing us when you extrapolate this to the rest of India. No wonder our forests are disappearing. As early as the 1960s, the Indian government recognized the environmental impact of cremation. And they tried to address the problem by introducing an alternative method. So this... This is, is the, the CNG uh, or gas-based uh, crematorium. gas-based crematorium. So the These are the are... trolleys to put the body inside. This type of cremation only costs $10, which is less than half the cost of a traditional one. Even still, there are few takers. The main problem is uh, the people cannot perform the rituals. There is no use of wood. And once the body is sent inside, you can't do anything. You just have to sit like this. And after two hours or three hours, you can take the ashes and then you can go back. I mean, I have to say, this place looks really grim and industrial. There's nothing, absolutely nothing traditional about this. Even with the best government-subsidized intentions, gas and other forms of more environmentally friendly methods of cremation haven't caught on. 
Dr. Ravi Singh, a sociologist of funerary rituals, has some thoughts on the subject. Dr. Ravi, why is cremation such an important element in Hindu tradition? It comes from the scriptures. Uh, one of the most important and central ways to sort of think of cremation is to begin to think about the dead person himself or herself participating in the ritual as a sacrifice. We've seen wood being used in uh, the cremation at this site. Is yeah. that an important and integral part of cremation as well in the Hindu tradition? Yes, uh, so wood generically is very significant. The pyre is an aesthetic that is seen with a certain degree of grace. So that would explain the reluctance that Hindus uh, exhibit in trying and adopting alternative ways of uh, cremating. I would think that it is part of a certain kind of orthopraxy that you, you do what uh, you have been doing. And uh, this is very difficult to shed in case of death rituals universally. Indians might be resistant to change when it comes to saying goodbye to loved ones. But the environmental impact of cremation can no longer be ignored. As India's population approaches a staggering 1.3 billion, more deaths and more cremations only spell further environmental problems for the living. This is why Moksta, Anshul's organization, has come up with a more ecologically friendly system which balances the environment with tradition. So uh, what's going on here? Uh, they are preparing a green pyre for a cremation to start. They use only uh, 150 to 200 kg of wood for one cremation instead of 400 kg in a conventional system. Using less wood also means this system costs less than a traditional cremation. Does this method allow for the traditional rituals to be performed the same way as a conventional pyre might? Yes, definitely. In this system, we are using only wood and whatever things people generally use in a conventional system only. So there is no deviation in the rituals which we follow. Uh, now that the body is in there and, and it's they have covered the back. Fire. Yeah. Uh, it work on uh, two basic principles of science. We have uh, increased the combustion efficiency by providing proper air. That is through the chimney and the hood. So when more oxygen is coming in, the combustion efficiency increases. So it increases your heat energy. In right. this, the cremation process gets over within two hours. Moksda's system has been around for 15 years. A tiny amount of time when it comes to taking on a centuries-old tradition. But mourners are now beginning to consider it seriously. Pramod has just cremated his father. Yejo. यहाँ पे अपने मोक्षदा का जो ये सेटिंग है, ये आपको बताया गया कि आप पहले से जानते थे इसके बारे में। पहले से हमारे एक महीने पहले हमारी थाई एक्सपर्टिंग थी। अच्छा। कल भी ऐसे ही करा था। इसकी जानकारी किसी हमारे दिशेर नहीं देती। अच्छा। तो तो तुरंत आपको लगा कि ये क्यों क्यों ऐसा लगा कि वहाँ से Eco-cremation pyres currently host up to seven cremations a day at this site. It's still much less than the traditional ones, but Anshul plans to open 60 more sites in 10 Indian cities. It's really brought it home to me that the balance between sensitivity to death, loss and tradition and the immediacy for the need to protect the environment is a rather delicate one. As someone who cares about the environment deeply myself, I know we have a long way to go. However, it also heartens me to find groups such as Mokshda who are finding alternatives that are starting to have a real impact.